What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fate1987, and today we're taking a look at the knockoff Creo Armor Changers G Axis. Yeah, same thing. I I just, I just decided to stop even looking at the boxes now because that's how that's how much this has been getting to me. It's like I've had these boxes for so long; they've been sitting there, really rustling around, doing nothing. And uh, he includes two batons of some sort. It, it's weird. Maybe kind of make him have clubs instead. I do like the gold to him, though. Though I'm hoping this doesn't end up like the gold plastic syndrome. You, if you know what that is, leave a like. He also has a blue fucking eyes. But he's clearly a Decepticon. Which also, I like the fact that they had the ball so you would put Decepticon logos on both the figure and the actual fucking box. Like, wow. Way to be ballsy. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. And he has a unique transformation. Like, I actually can't wait to do his transformation because the way it's... It, it really feels like G-Axis to me. That is, this is the only reason why it's actually called a G Axis, according to the video. Because there are videos of this guy actually on YouTube. It's, uh, I probably won't be able to leave the link because I'll probably forget by the time this video drops. But yeah. Basically, yeah, that's, that's basically it. And his batons are like straight. You know what? I'm not going to put on his batons. Fuck that. It, it looks so stupid. It's just like simply red sticks. They're like, they're, they're like, you want some Def 6? That's ironic. I, I made a Star Wars meme, considering, I made a Star Wars reference meme, meme reference, considering the fact that, uh, I'm getting to Death Star at the final, uh, Let's Build of, of, uh, this, this YouTube channel. Once again, Let's Star is my final build. So yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it because that's definitely gonna become prevalent within, uh, Season 3, for sure. Season 3 is only 40 plus episodes, so... Yo, fucking welcome after all of this bullshit. This really should have been split into two seasons, but I keep saying season two, so it sadly is season two. I can't break lore at this point because it's unbreakable. So yeah, this is this is G Axis. So what's the difference? Well, first of all, take this off. And we're going to put these underneath here. This is already starting to begin. Uh, we're going to just kind of visible on visible head syndrome him the best we can, which is not that great. But yeah, we're gonna be building his uh his alt mode now, his uh, alt mode. And I think it's the one one of the most uniqueness along with uh, Megatron, to be honest. I think Megatron and him are tied for the best alt mode by far. Though, to be honest, that's be biased because I upgraded my Megatron alt mode. But, yeah. Still, I think it proves for something unique. And uh, we also have... This, for some reason, we have these, but at the same time, I think I like these. Like, they, they kind of, like, prove to be kind of, like, boosters, per se. Then we have these, which just kind of slide like this. For some reason. I, I don't know why they just do. But... That actually, I do like that. I do kind of like the fact that it kind of has like a turbine part to it. So yeah, I I kind of do like that. So put that there as well. Yep. All right. So now we're also going to be building the front of the ship, which is interesting enough as well because. It really, I think the axis is the one they pulled out all the stops for, at least the vehicle mode. Uh, 
And I think it really proves to be kind of worth it because, well, they they go all out. They actually, you know, really give it some flair, I say. And yeah, that's it. That's the alt mode. I'm not going to lie. I love this. I actually do love this. Now, yeah, that, that's basically the alt mode. I like this. So let's compare to all the Decepticons that we have finally. Now I know we have all the Decepticons done, and I just realized I've been putting Megatron backwards the entire fucking time. Wow. So, there are all the Decepticons, finally. And now let's just bring in the rest of the Autobots, Optimus, Bumblebee, and Drift. So the next, of course, that means the last one we have to build before we go into robot modes is um, Ratchet. So, that's it. That's literally it. That That's the last one we needed for the Decepticons. So... I actually like this one, I'm not going to lie. So, thank you all for watching. The next build is going to be, well, Ratchet. Specifically, it's vehicle mode. So, if you enjoyed this video, hope you consider clicking notifications to be up there and all updates and videos. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, to all of one.